Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for Paper House Productions. We are doing a YouTube hop and we are using the Color Washed Collection, which is this beautiful, beautiful paper that you see here with the beautiful gold foil dots all over it. It's gorgeous. So it's got that really, really pretty ombre effect going from the top to the bottom. And I wanted to tell you guys real quick, off camera, I made some little photo strips. I cut them out on my Cricut and I went ahead and glued the photos. The photos weren't quite big enough, so I put glitter paper behind the photos to have little pops of glitter come out behind, um, from behind the photos. And then I'm matting this paper from the color washed paper pad on a piece of teal cardstock. And then also off camera, I took this teal and white, um, like paint striped look and cut them with my Cricut as well. So I just made two scalloped edges, um, so I can put at the bottom and the top of this purpley pink paper here in the middle. So I really, really love the way that this layout came together. It came together actually quite quick because I did these things off camera. Um, but I just wanted to save some time using the Cricut and stuff. And um, it takes a little bit of time that way, but I love the way that it turned out. So make sure that you are hopping along with all of us and you are subscribing to everybody's channel and the Paper House Productions channel on YouTube um, and comment on all of the videos. And I will have everybody's channels and videos linked below so you guys can hop along with everyone. Um, so the title of my layout is going to be 50 Shades of Heather. So all of these photos, I have a different hair color. <laughs> um, two of them are pink, but they're two different shades of pink. Uh, two of them are blonde, but they're different kind of shades of blonde. And then there's a purple and then like a dark brown with some red in it. So yeah. I, if you've been following me or if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I cannot keep my hair the same color for not for like two months. Um, and I just like to change my hair up. It's another way that I express myself and I show my creativity, I guess. Um, and so that is what this layout is kind of about. It's 50 shades of Heather, <laughs> all of the colors of Heather's hair. So I went ahead and glued that off camera, save you guys some time there because it took me a while. Um, and I just cut that out with gold glitter paper. Um, actually, it was a piece of scrap paper that I had in my scrap bin, which is always nice to use up. And I also have this gold glitter bow that I put underneath the title. And now I'm going to go ahead and start adhering the photo strips, which I absolutely love. I think they turn out so cute. So the bottom one is just going to be um, flat onto the paper. And then the other one that's going to be on top of the other photo strip, I'm going to put that up on foam tape to give it a little bit of extra dimension and to just make it kind of pop off the paper which I really, really like to do that with my photos when I'm layering them on top of each other. I like to put the top one on foam tape. So that is what I'm doing right there. Yay. I love it. I love it. I love the way that this looks. It's definitely different and it's a really, really fun way to get multiple photos. So I've printed these photos at home and I printed them super tiny, obviously. And the app that I use to um, print them that small is called Print to Size. I believe that it does cost a little bit of money. I think it's like $2.99 or something. Don't quote me on that. But it is my favorite app to print off of from home to make smaller photos. So now I'm looking through the cardstock stickers, which are amazing. I love them. They have the gold foil on them as well. And I used one in between the photos and I did put that up on foam tape. It says, enjoy the little things. And now I'm putting a little banner behind that and behind the photo strips. Um, and I am going to pull out a couple of the little hearts from the sticker sheet, a couple stars um, and some butterflies. And 
I love the way that this came together. It's so different for me. And I love how I got so many photos on this layout without it kind of um, taking away from the beautiful paper because this piece of paper is so gorgeous. I love the gold foiling on it and the ombre effect. So now I'm using some of these gold foil. I'm bringing in all the gold, you guys, <laughs> if you can't tell. I love gold. So I'm bringing in some of these gold foiled arrows. And excuse me, there are multiple um, sizes on different pages. So I'm bringing in some different ones. And then I'm also going to go into the sticker sheet um, in the 12 by 12 paper. And I was wanting to put something under the bow. I felt like it needed something. Uh, but in the end, I actually end up not putting anything behind it because it just wasn't working. But I love the way that this came together. So I believe that it's going to be it. This layout came together super fast. I'm glad that you guys um, stopped by and watched. Don't forget to hop along with everyone so you um, can see all of the beautiful layouts created with the Color Wash um, collection. And do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. Always remember to spread love and be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.